Hey friends, it is Isaac Hayes bringing you a brand new video and today I'm bringing you guys some more Black Ops 4 multiplayer tips and tricks. Now at the time that I'm recording this video, the Black Ops 4 beta is currently live on PlayStation 4 and I've been streaming a ton of it at twitch.tv forward slash IsaacMLG and I feel like I've come up with the right amount of tips to increase your odds at staying alive so I figured I'd make a video about it. So in this video I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to stay alive longer and die less in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now before this video starts, if you guys do enjoy this video and if you learned something new please hit that like button it helps smaller channels like me rank in the search engine and nowadays on YouTube you have to have likes to even reach the sub box of your subscribers so I would really appreciate you guys hitting the like button but let's waste no more time on that and let's get right into the tips and tricks on how to stay alive longer in Black Ops 4. The first tip that I have for you in order to stay alive longer in Black Ops 4 is stick to the outer edges of the map. As soon as you spawn in to the game, you might want to run straight to the middle of the map and get as many kills as possible so you can lead your team to victory, but if you feel like you're dying way more than you should be dying, it might be because you're running towards the middle of the map and maybe you're just not ready to handle that or maybe you're just getting unfortunate and stuff like that. So what I would recommend in those situations is to stick to the outer sides of the map. You're going to have more cover, you're not going to die from as many unexpected angles and you're overall just going to have better and more consistent games because you're just going to be killing those people that are running to the middle of the map and you can be one of the people on the outer edges shooting into the middle of the map and I just noticed that helps me a lot when I'm having slow or unfortunate games I just stick to the outer edges of the maps and I definitely stay along or stay alive way longer than I do if I was to just like run towards the middle of the map. The next tip that I have for you is to get your mini map awareness up. So the mini map is the miniature version of the enlarged map that's in the corner of the screen and it can allow you to see your teammates and also your opponents if they're shooting on the map without like a suppressor or something. So your mini map is super crucial. It can tell you where your opponents are, where your teammates are, where your opponents are going to be spawning and it can just tell you where everything is that you need to know so you're not caught off guard by your opponents dying from the back and stuff like that which is going to help you stay alive longer. The next tip that I have is don't challenge stupid things. So if you hear gunshots to your right and you can look at the mini map and you know that they're on a super powerful head glitch and they're looking your way, it's really not worth it to challenge it because most of the time you're not going to win a gunfight if your opponent has the advantage. So if you think that you wouldn't be able to kill yourself on that egg glitch, then you're probably not going to be able to kill your opponent if your opponent is good. So that's definitely going to help you just not challenging stupid things and you're not going to die from stupid ways. You know what I mean? So if you know somebody's on a power position, don't challenge that power position. The next tip that I have for you in order to stay alive longer in Black Ops 4 is use Intel score streaks. And what I mean by that is use score streaks like UAV, counter UAV, advanced UAV. I'm sure there's going to be some sort of those score streaks in this game. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to be called because the beta is just now out and we're just now getting used to the game. But use score streaks like that that not necessarily are going to get you direct kills from the score streaks themselves, but they're going to allow you to know where your opponents are and just get intelligence for you. And that's going to help you not die from like the back and stuff like that because a lot of the times when you die in Call of Duty you're not expecting the way that you're dying so it's just going to help you overall stay alive longer in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And right along with using the right score streaks is my next tip which is use the right class. In order to stay alive longer you're going to need to use a stealthy class. You want to have dead silence. I'm not sure if there's a literally like dead silence in this game it might be called something else and I'm not sure if you can unlock it in the beta because you know we're still getting used to the beta but use classes that are going to help you stay alive and be quiet and you don't want your opponents to ever hear you or see you on the mini map or just know where you are that's your main goal in order to stay alive longer so definitely make sure you're running the right class setups i'm going to make videos on class setups in order to help you stay alive longer and how to i'm going to make tons of videos on different class setups that can help you get kills and all kinds of stuff so be sure to be on the lookout for that the next tip that I have for you is use a headset and listen for your opponents. Using a headset is super crucial because you can hear where your opponents are coming from, you can hear where they're shooting from and everything, and you're not going to get caught off guard. And a lot of these tips are geared for you not getting caught off guard because that's the main way you're going to die in Call of Duty if you're not expecting it, you know what I mean? So it's another tip that's going to help you not die from random ways is listening for your opponents with a headset. Me personally, I use Astro A40 Tournament Ready Edition uh, for PS for and they're pretty expensive so if you can't afford that I mean I would definitely recommend going with some turtle beaches or something like that you can go to GameStop and get some cheap pairs and you know any headset is better than no headset always remember that 
I might be running through these tips and tricks pretty quick and I'm doing it on purpose because I don't want to waste too much of your time. I want you to get out and play Black Ops 4. You know, the beta's out. You know, everybody's having fun. So if you have any questions about the tips that I'm giving you, please let me know down in the comments. I read every single comment and I can give you guys some specific details and answer your questions down there. So. I'm just gonna recap what I've said so far in this video. It's watch your mini map, you know, get your mini map awareness up. Use Intel score streaks like UAV, counter UAV, advanced UAV, stuff like that. Use stealth classes and use classes that are gonna help you in your playstyle. Listen to game sounds for opponents if you can, if you have a headset. Stick to the outer edges of the map so you're not dying from crazy angles and you can kind of look into the middle of the map and get kills like that. And don't challenge stupid things that you don't think you can win. And guys, that's going to about wrap it up. I think I don't really have too many more tips and how to stay alive longer. I mean, if you have any questions, you know, let me know down in the comments. If you think I should make a part two to this video, let me know down in the comments. And I'll definitely do that because I'm sure I can come up with some way more advanced tips as I play the game. Because every Call of Duty is a little bit different. So the more you learn is the more you learn. I can probably make some more tips, you know. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new and go check out my other videos. I'm doing a ton of black up for tips and tricks and i'll see you guys in the next video or live stream twitch.tv forward slash isaac mlg <laughs> goodbye